So hey all guys, it's Mackie, your new kid in town and welcome back to my channel. So it's been months since I've last posted in my channel, since I'm really kind of busy working out and reviewing for the exams. So I've currently passed my theoretical exams, God bless to me. And um, the next thing that I'm going to do is to pass my GOC exams. So currently I'm reviewing for the GOC exams in the CRP Marina. So yeah, you're gonna ask me, Asan ka? Saan ka nagpa-process? Nasa Manila ka ba? Mas mabilis ba mag-process dyan? So, I am in Manila since as far as I know, currently, um, dito lang makakuha ng theoretical exams. And there's a lot of branches in Mar of Marina here if you're gonna try, if you're going to um, process a lot of things. However, di lang talaga ako sure if open na yung other branches ng Marina for the accommodation sa magti-theoretical exams. But my advice is, it's better if you're going to travel to Manila right now since it's not masyadong strict in regards to the health protocols and it's convenient talaga dito. So why am I here today? Marina launched a new program which is called the CRP Marina, a new site which is intended for the exam takers. So the CRP Marina meant the Marina Competency Reviewer Portal. So sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam, it has been launched since last 2021, as far as I know. And it has been up like that lately. So if you are reviewing on a review centers or um, you have other reviewing materials, try to add the CRP Marina in um, your review list. Since as far as I know, uh, most of the items came out and as far as the testimonies I've heard, Doon nagagaling yung most of the questions na lumalabas sa marina itself. So I was just shocked um, last time since merong um, usually kasi yung nag -e exam sa marina is more or less pumapasa almost all like let's say three fourths of the examinees always passed. However, um, recently nung naglunch sila ng CRP portal, there is one post that, that I'm so shocked. Um, out of, I guess, 71 examinees, there's only one passer out of it. So, I think it's a big factor that, you know, and we all knew kung saan yung tamang review mat- uh, kung saan yung tamang site or ano yung tamang review material for us to pass. So since it's quite alarming at some point, I'm here to give you a walkthrough on the CRP Marina because currently I am um, reviewing for it and I'm reviewing for my GOC exams. So hopefully it would aid you kind of a little on how things work right now because um, most of the time the system is currently changing and changing and changing. So some of the CPRs are really not updated, especially if you're not really kind of fun sa internet and other, you know, gadgets and things. So okay, first things first, before we log in into our um, Marina Competency Reviewer Portal, kailangan meron muna tayong log in which is um, given to us by Marina. So ang uno na natin gagawin is we're going to submit um, our requirements for the exam. So they would have there's lang um, initial initial um, evaluation and last if magbe pay kayo after that there's lang final evaluation. So after you paid and you will have um, finished or meron na sila nagbigay na sila sa inyo ng um, final evaluation, they would also give you the access for the Marina Competency Reviewer Portal. So if magde direct ka sa site without passing first in the Marina Mismo portal and passing all the requirements, you can't have access onto it. So after you have done that, dito na tayo ngayon sa Marina Competency Reviewer portal. So, you would have to enter your SRN. And then your Marina Mismo password. Then you hit login. Oh. Okay, so after how many 
ours. You're back on track. Ginabi na ako. So after mong um magqueue in or maglagay ng SRN mo and then maglagay ng password. So you'll be redirected onto the login authentication code. So yung mangyayari is you're gonna get the code in your email address. So I already have a login. So you just need to copy and paste it onto the paste. So that will be your whole day access code. So that code, yung, uh, usually it only retains for a day. So for example, pag nag-review ka like 11 p.m. Tapos after ng 12 a.m., you would have another login authentication code. So just click submit. And then here you are. So there is an option for you to continue with the online review. Or you're going to get the schedule to the actual exam. So you still have an option na mag review. It depends if you are kind of confident on what you have. Or kung gusto mo mas um, wider yung scope mo, especially with this exam. Na proven na na according to some of the testimonies na almost all lumalabas talaga sa CRP Marina. So just go with continue with the online review, and you're gonna see what's um, on its homepage. So this is the homepage of the uh, Competency Reviewer Portal. So as what you could see, as, uh, as pag nag-open ka na, you will have these tabs on to the left side, which is yung home, diagnostic exam, reviewer, mock exam, set schedule, profile, change password, and the logout. So it includes the meaning of the CRP Marina. There is a video, which is like four minutes long. It will just have an overview of everything. Then, uh, merong general instructions. Step one, kailangan mo muna mag-diagnostic exam. Then, the next one, you'll again have a review. And the third one will have the mock exam. And the fourth one, you could um, set your examination date. So, yun. Um, before you could proceed to um, everything na pwede mong, like, review, you need to take the diagnostic exam. Okay lang naman na hindi siya may papasa kasi since it's a diagnostic exam nga. So, after mong ma-finish ma yan, I've already finished that one. Yeah. It's failed. <laughs> because it's a diagnostic exam. So, you could um, go for the reviewer. So, for the GOC, we only have C1, competency number 1 and competency number 2. If you open this one up, I've already finished the reviewer. So, it has like 1,000 120 questions for the C1. So if you open that one up, it will have a time allotted in here. So as long as you have time, you could re-review uh, whenever you like, which time you like, as long as um, you still have remaining allotted time. Then you will have the question and you'll have the answer. So you can just click the next next and next until you're finished then if you want to stop or pause for a while you can click the stop so that um hindi maubos yung time mo if you're doing something and if you stop that will be just it then if you open again you can see that you're still back onto the number just one number before the the time you stop the clock. So you know naman, um, you don't need to worry na mag start your audit sa, ano, sa first number. And yeah, the C2 is still the same. So for the C2, we I reviewed 150 questions, more or less. I forgot. Just more than 100 questions. So yes, you do have like that in here. Then after you finish that one, gonna go back and this will have the mock mock examination for this step three so you need to finish um as what i've heard 80 hours of review 
from the reviewer so that you could open the mock examination. So I've already finished my reviewer. However, hindi ko patapos yung time allotted with it. So I'm going to re-review and I'll try if um, I could finish it on that time allotted. However, if I'm really kind of confident enough na I could, you know, remember everything. I guess the mock exam, I could skip the mock exam and just get on the, and just set on the schedule. So if you have the option for the mock exam, um, you will have three mock exams all in all. After you finish the third mock exam, your reviewer will be locked and you are opted or you have the option to set your schedule for you to take the exams at the Marine office. So everything that you need to learn or everything that you need to know will be up inside in the home page since you could just read them all up so you know there are some technical um, information in here na pwede nyo lang mabasa on how to you know um, set your examination schedule about some things for the reviewers and all those things just really kind of um, technical and too elaborate for me to explain to you so yun lang naman and then you have the log out, so you need to log it out since if hindi ka nakapag log out, yung mangyari niyan is sometimes nag refresh yung nag refresh yung page and that will make you um, re log in onto your account. So that's it for today for the CRP Marina. If you have more questions or you know those things that I could answer, just leave it on the comments. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you would be followed up or you could have um, an access on to some of the things that I post in regards to the TPR industry. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Be safe.